guys. Uh, what? Why are we on the couch, Brent? What is happening? Uh, what's going on? I'm Brent. I'm Bobby. And you're watching. Woo! Learning with Bobby and Brent. <laughs> so to, you're probably asking yourselves, though the 300 of you who watch this every week, we love all of you. We love you. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Brent. What? Why are you sitting on the couch today? Well, you see, fan, that's a good question. Mm, it is a good question. What Excellent. we're doing today is, as I'm sure you know by clicking on this video, we're gonna show you how to record a Skype call. As you've probably seen recently, we've been doing a lot of Skype interviews. Right. Um, you'll see um, yesterday we did one with Delaney Reynolds. Whoa! We did one with Electrica recently. We did one with Cozia. We did, we've been doing a bunch of these recently. You mm. might be wondering to yourself, how do you guys actually record those conversations? How do you do that? Yeah, well, it seems complicated. Luckily for you guys, we figured it out. We yeah. found ourselves in a similar position about a month ago where mm -hmm. we had no clue what we were doing. Yep. So Brent and I did a little bit of research. And we figured out a way to do it. So figured that's what we're going to show you how to do today. And it is completely free. And it's completely free, which is a really good caveat right there because sometimes you know you watch a tutorial and it's like first you're gonna have to spend five hundred dollars on plugins what and it's like no thank you um can you show me a free way to do that and that's what we're gonna do now the things you'll need in this video are first the program skype Woo. second the program active presenter free which program. we'll go over more in a minute next a webcam so you can record yourself and your uh, Skype call. Okay. Now, if you want to get really high quality with it, you could also get a USB powered microphone. Awesome. To add in. Now, if your webcam has audio capability in it, in it you do not necessarily need that. But if okay. you want to step up your game a little bit, you could also get a microphone. Awesome. And that's all you need. That's it? That's it. Wow. So let's just dive right into the tutorial. Woo! All right. Here we go. So, first thing we're going to do here now that we have all this stuff ready, you, hopefully by this point you already have your webcam hooked up, your microphone plugged in, all that stuff. We're going to get right into the programs aspect of it. So, first thing we want to do is we're going to open our program Active Presenter that you downloaded. We'll provide the link in the description below. Now, Brent, does this program cost any money? It is absolutely 100% free. Awesome. Zero dollars. I don't like spending money, so yeah. that's good for me. Yes, I don't think any of us do, and it, this software is really useful and free. This is also how we record our learnings in case you're wondering. Yes. All the screen stuff that you see is recorded with this software. So pretty Great. cool stuff. We're going to go ahead, we're going to open our active presenter and then we're going to, in that, we're going to create a new capture and it will ask you to name your capture, where you want to save it, all that stuff. So okay. we're going to do that first. Now that we've done that, we're going to pick the option record movie slash streaming video. Basically what we want to do is create a movie file with our screen recording. So that way we can import it into our project as our interview or what have you for your screen recording. Okay. So pretty easy. So now that we select this option, we're going to see this screen here. We got our work panel or tab, if you will. You can see a few different options here for screen size, uh, audio device selection, oh, yeah. big record button, a few different things here. So one thing we need to do is select our audio device. Now this will be for our microphone in this case. Um, you might, if you didn't decide to not to spring for the microphone, you might just use your webcam's audio. This is the area where you would select that. Because you want to make sure if you're doing an interview that you're getting your audio too. You don't just want your interviewee's audio mm -hmm. or it to be one side of a conversation. And uh, you want to hear both sides, Yeah, I think. But now is there a way to record the computer uh, audio yeah, as well. you're probably wondering like how am I gonna get the audio from the person I'm interviewing? Do I have to put the microphone in front of the speaker or something record it that way? No! Whoa! That is not the way you gotta do. So stop thinking that way. Really? You it's can ridiculous. Just record it right from the audio yeah. The system? Yeah, it's actually really easy. Right below where you select your audio device, there's a checkbox that says record system audio. Okay, I see so that. So if right you there. check that off, it will actually record all the audio from Skype. No way. Perfectly clean. Uh, no, you won't be also capturing your microphone, so you'll get a clean signal from the computer. Basically, what that does is it records all the audio that's going right into the computer. So if you were just like watching a video or something, that sound coming out of your speaker is going, coming from the system's audio. Wow. So by checking that box, you're just recording what's coming from the computer, not what's going into the microphone. Okay, so once we were finished recording our screen record, does yep. that mean that our audio is going to be broken up into different 
So yes, it will. It absolutely will. Wow, you'll that's have helpful. your screen record audio, which will be the system audio, if you will, and then you'll have your microphone audio that's completely awesome separated. That's awesome. It breaks it up. That's really helpful because then you can, you know, cancel out any mistakes that might be in there. Oh yeah, you can totally edit in all that stuff after the fact. It's really cool. Now, once we have those options selected, all we gotta do is hit that big red record button. Now, next thing we're gonna do is open up Skype, and then we're gonna make our call to whoever it is we're calling. Hey, look, that's me. That's, or the gremlin. Oh, the gremlin. Yes, sorry, I know. Sometimes they look a little similar, but I think it's just the lighting. Mm. It's just weird. There's, there's no relation there between Bobby or the gremlin. They're completely two, two completely separate Completely separate entities, have nothing to do with one another. Mm. They don't know each other. And so now we're gonna record our call. This call's been recording all this time. And then um, one thing that's probably important too is you wanna make sure you full screen your Skype. Cause yeah. you, you wanna capture uh, your interviewee. Now you could also put a camera on you if you wanted to capture yourself. Yes, that's what we do for our videos. We like to set up a camera mm -hmm. uh, on a small tripod and you can get a high quality video of yourself so that you can yeah. have now two separate video files, which is what we do for our videos. Right. Now, I that's mean, optional though. That's also optional too, because you could also just have the small video of you in the corner if you want. Um, unfortunately, on PC, there isn't a way yet or a program available that records both simultaneously full screen. So now once you're done recording your Skype call, you can hit, you know, just hang up your Skype call. Then we're going to go into the bottom right corner down here in our taskbar where you'll find the active presenter icon where Whoa. you can stop your screen recording. Oh, that's kind of hidden. I'm glad you pointed that out to me. Yep. I would not so, have been able to yeah, find that. Yeah, in case you're wondering, do I just screen record for the rest of my life? No, you do not. Oh, thank God. You do not. You can go back to your own secret web browsing after you stop. Awesome. After you stop your screen record. Well, that's and then good once to know. you do, you have your screen record. So you can see it right here. We have our everything recorded here. You can see the waveforms here from the audio. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, pretty cool, pretty so, convenient. So now, Brent, where do I find the files uh, that I have exported? It's, okay. I remember earlier we saved it to a certain destination. Yep, so what we'll do is once we're done screen recording, we're going to actually go up into the top here and click the export option, and we'll click video. Okay. And then once there, it'll give you the option to pick where you want to save it. So if we were to click browse right over here, okay. that will give get us into our computer area and we can pick our destination for this file. Wow. And then once we do that, we just go back and we click export and that's as simple as it gets. That is really simple. That's, see, when we first do, started doing this Skype thing, yeah. I remember thinking, this is so complicated. We tried a lot of different programs and mm -hmm. we could not figure it out. Yeah. But this is a really easy, simple workaround with a pretty reliable software. And it's completely free. Completely so, free. As long as you have a webcam and Skype, you are good to go, you know, so. We've been using Active Presenter for a while and I think that uh, it, yeah. it's a pretty decent software. Quite all. And time. I think that you guys are gonna really like it. Yeah, this was a pretty easy one. Um, I think so. It's a little bit of a different one for us, but hopefully you guys find it useful. So thank you so much for watching this episode of Learning. Make sure you like, subscribe, smash all those things. Also, consider supporting us on Patreon. You can um, get one of these cool shirts. You can get one of those cool shirts. Thank you so much for watching this episode. I've been Brant. I've been Bobby. Yeah. I watch you. Learning on the couch. Ow! Oh, oh look at that, still on the oh, nose. Shit. Oh, beep, beep, beep. Oh, beep. <laughs> you can't do more than four notes, Brent. Yeah. That's all you need. You know what you need? Oh, snap. All right, guys, so what are we doing today, Brent? Today we're gonna do a... Uh... Oh! Why? Ow. That was a dumb bit. That was a stupid bit. End plate bit. End plate bit. So how's it going, guys? How's it going? Things have been going pretty good. Um, you know, yeah. just working a lot. Am, am I the fan or are you um, the fan? I'm the fan right now. Okay. But uh, enough about me, the fan. Yeah. Bobby and Brent. And I don't have an answer for you, but Brent might. Okay, when we get out of character. Whoa, we Brent again. What's up, Oof. man? All right. Oof, sorry. Where'd you I, go there? I'm like Daniel Day-Lewis. I really dive into my character. I'm method. Oh, yeah. You know, so Still it's really hard for me to come out. Yeah, no. Yeah, it, just, it takes a toll. Patch on the back. Oh, that this one time is not we met a Mrs. Red Doubtfire Heaven. situation. It's not a Mrs. Doubtfire situation. They just met one time in Red Heaven and he betrayed him and it was weird. Yeah. It was uncomfortable for both of us, really. Yeah. One of these days we'll tell you how we got out of there. But one of these days. Not today.